what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so got some exciting things to talk about today regarding screen 5 our official first non-spoiler review that has come out from the apparent rough draft that the studio recently saw for screen 5 matt and tyler screened their first cut for the studio and an individual was present this person has shared their thoughts on a recently uh now from a deleted account on reddit and it's just stating that they've seen an early cut of the film. Matt and Tyler screened their first rough cut for the studio recently and I was present. Approximately 25 people were in the room. They go into detail about not doxing themselves so don't ask them to disclose anything such as what they have there, the who, what, when, where, why. And then they have to say it's very effing good even though there's still work to be done, more edits, ADR, grading, etc. The studio notes were minor and there won't be any reshoots so I guess that should kill that rumor. Some fantastic kills, two particularly unnerving chase sequences, really strong characters. There's one bait and switch scene that I heard multiple people gasp at, including myself. Ghostface is menacing and stealthy, but also very brash. The whodunit element is played to perfection, and it is a great movie. The meta lens is quite unique and very fun. There's some great commentary on the gender roles. The film is deserving of Wes's legacy. The OGs have purpose, but it's also great world building with room for sequels. This is probably going to sound stupid, but I feel almost the same way after watching this as I did with Parasite. I'm just going to skip over that. This has the potential to reboot slashers just like the original did. It innovates and will have people talking. I will also say that 95% of the spoilers I've seen floating around here are dummy. When are you, and then the quote here at the end, when are you effers going to learn? This is my story. I make the effing rules. That last quote, if that is from the film, we will see how true this is because again, this is not something that we have any receipts to actually validate that it's real, but the fact that that quote sounds very much like Sidney Prescott it has me excited. It has me thinking this is a line she will have in the film either after unmasking it unmasking the killer after thwarting the killer once again and standing victorious at the end like we all know she probably will. She has the biggest plot armor out of anyone in this film. <laughs> so that's probably a quote from her. And then just all of the things they've talked about just get me excited. It makes me very happy if it's true. Again, they don't go into any real specific things. I do want to touch on the, the part where they're saying the bait and switch because I've seen people ask me, oh, what's that? What do they mean? That could mean anything. They could be talking about us being led to believe one person is the killer. And then we're quickly going to have the rug pulled out from under us. More so in the way of how it was so blatantly obvious it was Billy, but then it ended up being Billy. But then maybe they'll do that again, but it's not the person we think it is. So let's say we're getting the same scenario with Billy, where it's it, right in our face that Billy's the killer, Billy's the killer, Billy's the killer. And then we're like, no, that's too obvious. But then he is the killer. This could be the same thing, but they're actually not going to be the killer. Or it could be a simple, simple case of... They're setting someone up to, again, look guilty, but they end up, for some dramatic reason, not being guilty. And the switch is just something very shocking, and it leaves you breathless. I don't know what it could be, but that's all I can think of when they talk about bait and switch. The part where it's talking about it's really good to... It, this is something that honors Wes's legacy, warms my heart, makes me excited, makes me satisfied. Again, this is just one person's opinion. This is from something that happened where the studios, Paramount, representatives i guess involved radio silence sat down saw the first cut they don't have really too many complaints i guess from what this person is claiming in their reddit post they are very pleased with what they saw the only thing that needs to be done now is of course all the things that i kind of touched on in my last video that i literally uploaded yesterday they need to put in the score they need to do all those final touches to the film before they put it out there now this person did also tell me a potential runtime that we could expect that i'm going to get to in a second the other thing that excites me is the ghost face being menacing part and stealthy. So the the fact that they're using those words makes me think that we could be getting a a ghost face killer who isn't as clumsy, straightforward, and they mean business. They are not playing games. They are just going to kill you. And if you think this is a game, you have another thing coming. They're going to be on top of their A game. They're not going to make or leave any room for mistakes out of. And when I say they're not going to leave any room for mistakes, they're just going to come off as a more serious threat, probably than any recent Ghostface that we've gotten since the original film. 
or since the second film because i would say and argue that the killers in screen three and screen four while i did not take them as jokes i would say those felt a little bit more hokey or comical compared to what we got in the first two films that's just my opinion and the fact that this film is doing justice to the characters i guess involved really strong characters that is very exciting very exciting because they have a giant cast to work with here with all these new actors who some of them we know are going to make it some of them are not obviously the ones that make it depending on how we get set up to be connected to them the carpenter sisters in particular they could be characters that we grow to love and want to see continue this franchise and we'll have hope that they will do the franchise justice without us having to feel so bad about sydney you know passing the torch to this new group of actors or characters or no longer being the front focus of the series anymore or just not being in it at all in in a scream six or scream seven the other thing that i want to talk about again was that runtime that i've been told this the person who posted this this is someone who is claiming they're the same person who posted this on reddit they're claiming that they posted this and they gave me the runtime that we should potentially get for scream five now, now again things could still be cut things could be added the movie could end up being shorter than this or longer they're saying this movie is going to be uh, a little close to two hours and 30 minutes or slightly over that so over two hours and maybe 30 minutes worth of footage on top of those two hours but i think that's going to be cut in half i really think that's not necessarily cut in half but this could be longer than screen screen two this would make it the longest in the franchise and this makes me excited because that leaves room Plenty of room for them to develop these characters with this large cast that they have, with these new characters at Woodsboro High, with the Carpenter Sisters. At least plenty of time for us to connect with these characters and get to know them, feel some type of security for them, want to know and see them make it out of this alive, depending on who the character is. It leaves room for all that because Sydney and the other two, Gail, Dewey, we don't need any more development for them. They're already established. They are woven into this franchise. These other characters, they are probably going to be the ones that are sticking around for the longer haul in the future entries. So it's good that this movie is that long because it gives plenty of time for them to develop these characters. So I'm very excited with what they had to share on Reddit. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Do you think this is real? Do you think this is trustworthy? Are you excited? Uh, if you haven't already, again, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.